All right, all right. Well, hello, CPAC. How are we doing, Florida? How are we doing, America? I have to tell you, I absolutely love the state of Florida. I mean, really, what's not to love compared to California and New York, right? I love this state. I love Governor DeSantis, and we all love all of you. And thank you for being here today and standing for conservative values and principles. Now, in the great state of Florida, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Well, not every day, maybe like six out of seven. Uh, because I got to remind you of one thing, that Joe Biden, I cannot believe it still, is in the White House. But Joe did not disappoint because just like we told you, he is leading from behind. From behind Kamala, that is. <laughs> True story. However, with Joe Biden sort of bumbling his way through the first month, the reporters probably in the back of the room are trying desperately to write our obituary. But we are alive and well in this country. The press wants you to believe that the American conservative movement is fractured. They want America to believe that this movement is dead. News flash to those out there. We aren't going anywhere. It's the thousands of conservatives here today and the millions across this country who are not going to be silenced. And we are definitely not going to cede this fight to the socialists and the communists who want to see our nation burn. The fight for liberty, the fight for conservative values, and the fight for the heart and soul of this nation will not be abandoned. That fight continues right here and right now with all of us. And that's because the America First policies and programs, we're not going anywhere. This movement is not going anywhere. And I can promise you this, President Trump is not going anywhere. He is here to stay. That's the good news. <laughs> we love President Trump and I'll tell you, I will confidently say that President Trump from his desk at Mar-a-Lago will accomplish more for America in the next four years than Joe Biden and Kamala Harris could ever dream of. That is because we are not giving up. The Republican Party is being reborn thanks to President Trump. It is being reborn as the party of the working class of minorities, of hardworking American men and women, the party of America first, the party of President Trump. And we bid a farewell to the weak need, the spineless, and the cowards that are posing in DC pretending that they're working for the people. Let's send them a pink slip straight from CPAC. What do you say? We tell them that America has no use for them and this movement is leaving those cowards in the ash bin of history and we will strive forward thanks to the courage, the policies and the strength of President Trump. Instead, we will chart a new path, a path driven by bold conservative solutions, a path where we don't couch out to the demands of the leftist mob, and a path where we are willing to stand up and fight for what we believe in and what we hold true. From California to New York, we will fight to take back this country. However, to do so, we must do three important things. We must demand more from our elected leaders and officials and those that are actually pursuing public office. 
It is not enough to just be, quote, Republican. That means very little when they get to Washington, D.C., and they don't perform. We're not interested in those type of politician empty suits. We want fighters like President Trump, warriors for this country, for America. And our movement must stay true to America first. As the Democrats scurry to re-enter the corrupt Iran nuclear deal and cozy up to China, we must understand that the survival of our nation is based on putting the American worker and the American family first. And finally, we must take our message into every corner of our nation. America first means all of Americans. All of us united together as a country, our ideas, our conservative values, and the solutions that we champion are the key to lifting up everyone in this country. As a movement, our message must transcend party lines, socioeconomic lines, and cultural lines as one America we put first. If we can accomplish that over the next four years, I can promise you we will be winning elections. It will only be the start of what is going to happen because yes, ladies and gentlemen, the best is yet to come. God bless CPAC. God bless Madam Mercedes Schlapp and the entire team, your family, the military, the veterans, law enforcement first responders. God bless President Trump and thank you, President Trump, on behalf of a grateful and humble nation. God bless this country. And ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the son of the greatest president this country has seen, a leader of the 